Hey, this is Dave from SUVDad.com and today I want to do a short video about an earthquake kit that I bought for our family, I don't know, probably about six or seven years ago. So here's the uh, description for it. I don't know how well this is going to show up on the video, but it's a premium family survival kit. Primarily we got this for, uh, for earthquakes uh, living in California. You just want to make sure you have some supplies uh, in case you get hit with a a pretty significant earthquake that's going to you know, cause some issues and force you to um, have to deal with the world at large as opposed to being able to ride it out at home or anything along those lines. And so uh, having dealt recently with uh, everything we've been going through over the past two years, uh, there's been some interesting kind of things looking at this kit and how it could have come in handy over the past couple of years. So the first thing by far that was the, uh, the most handy is it comes with hand sanitizer. So obviously people who back in the day were concerned about what could happen in the world at large, they saw the benefit of hand sanitizer. And I never obviously tried to sell this on eBay or anything like that. We kept it here and we have two of these kits. We actually did use one of them. And this one's like, we probably used a little bit of it. So definitely good planning as far as the, uh, the emergency kit went. You know, we definitely needed hand sanitizer over the past two years. Uh, on the other side, something that didn't work out quite so well is they have these little masks here, which are cloth masks, and they list them as being N95, which obviously they're not. There's uh, no real filter that I can see here. Uh, these are clearly not N95. Um, obviously would work in a pinch over the past two years, but uh, not quite uh, what would be, what we consider to be uh, the best way to, to deal with everything that's been going on. Uh, just to get a sense of how old this kit is, this is actually water in a pouch. And so there's a bunch of water here. So obviously if we had an earthquake, we couldn't access uh, just the regular water through the tap. You can probably just chug these things. Wouldn't really recommend it, but these actually expired back in October of 2020. So I think we're gonna have to get rid of this water. Um, we have other things we use for water, but uh, it's just kind of interesting that we have these packages of water. Typically need a gallon per person per day, so I wonder how much this adds up to. It's probably not even a gallon, but uh, this came with the kit. But we'll obviously get rid of that. Let's see what else we have there. This was actually kind of functional. This is something I think we can keep. This is uh, the weather kit here. So we have some things like some icy hot. So if your hands get cold, you can use that. I'm not sure how long that would last for, but that could certainly come in handy. Uh, we have a poncho here. I'm not sure how effective the poncho would be. We have some rain gear we use. It would probably be better. And then there's like a little tent here. We've got tents with rain flies. So I don't know how um, effective this would be, but this is something I may hold on to just to kind of keep it in the back of my truck. Uh, doesn't look like it has any expiration date. I'm sure it's perfectly fine and it's better than nothing. There's a little like water filtration system here. This looks pretty, pretty sketchy. They do have, I think, some iodine tablets or something in here where you could definitely use it in a pinch. I have a, a more high quality gravity filter that I have, uh, but obviously we want to be near a, a pretty good water source, but the gravity filter is nice because it filters everything out and you only have to use iodine, which has a, a pretty nasty taste. So I don't know that I'll really need to keep this. I'll have to figure out what I want to do. I'll put that in the maybe pile. Next, this is actually kind of cool. This is a big old blade with a serrated edge, which you can obviously use to probably cut tree branches or something along those lines. I have an ax, I have a Swiss army knife, but the Swiss army knife doesn't have a blade quite this big. I'm kind of not sure the quality for this is going to be all that great, but I'll probably keep it around just for uh, in case it ever comes in handy. But uh, this is something I, I never opened the kit and looked through it all the way before because I never had to. But recently when I was cleaning my garage, I just wondered what was in here. Was it still good? And while the water is still that good, I think I'll hold on to this, this particular tool right here. That's in the key pile. Next, this actually surprised me too. This is like a pretty nice multi-tool. So like I said, I have a Swiss Army knife, but this looks like it's a pretty decent quality multi-tool. Obviously you have your can opener, you have your uh, corkscrew, and then as you open it up, you got a pair of pliers in here, needling those pliers, and some other items in here. So this looks like a pretty solid multi-tool. So I'll definitely be holding onto this and seeing if I can ever put it to use. But I was really impressed. This feels pretty, pretty solid. It feels like it's decent quality. It doesn't move really smoothly, so I don't know if it needs to be oiled or anything along those lines or if it's just the quality of it. But I was definitely impressed with this, and I'll be holding on to this multi-tool for sure. We have some advanced first aid here. So we have a cold pack. We have a couple other cold packs. Cold packs are always good to have handy, so we'll definitely keep that. I can see a couple more of the N95 masks in here. 
uh, which we don't need those. We obviously have plenty of masks. And then there's a pair of gloves in here. Uh, so modest quality here. I'm going to have to think through. I'll probably pull out the, the cold pack for sure, the rest of it. I'm not sure of the quality on it. Uh, rubber gloves, I mean, you probably always use a pair of rubber gloves. So I'll put that in the maiden pile. And then, this is kind of funny. You know, when nature calls, you got to be ready. So we've got our, uh, our collection of TP there. We also have a couple of toothbrushes. We have some soap. We have a small container here of toothpaste. And we have a little razor blade in here. There'll probably be one or two things I'll pull out of here, but this I think is mostly going to be going the way of the water because there's really not too much that we would need here. But maybe I'll hold on to the toothbrushes and the toothpaste. It's always good to have a little small container of toothpaste uh, when you travel or just when you're caught in a situation where you don't have access to your normal supplies. So what I'm going to do is here's the backpack that it came in. I'm going to keep the backpack. Anything that I know. For sure I'm going to keep like my weather stuff here, my big blade with a serrated edge to cut down tree limbs and whatnot, and my multi-tool. They're all going to stay in here. I'm going to keep this backpack. Backpack isn't super high quality. It's not something you'd ever carry for going for long distances, but for keeping it in the back of my truck for if I ever run into a need for it, works perfectly fine. All right, so I didn't realize it, but there's going to be a, a part two or a second part of this video. So. I have two of these bags, and I assume they probably had the same stuff in them. We're a family of four, so I figured each of these was maybe enough for two people. So we had two bags that all had the exact same stuff, but I was wrong. There's a lot of different stuff in here. We've got this emergency wind-up flashlight, which I've never used. I'll have to give that a try and see how that works out. It also has an AM FM radio. It supposedly has a mobile phone charger, which I'm not sure how that works, but never needs batteries. We're gonna to have to do a separate video and put that to the test. But if that works, that's a cool piece. This is a secondary hygiene kit. I don't think we're gonna keep any of this. It's been sitting there for quite a few years. I was looking at some of the water hygiene stuff as far as like the iodine tablets and stuff like that. A lot of this stuff expired in 2017 and 2018, so I'm just gonna to toss most of that. Uh, here's some duct tape we have here, some light sticks. The light sticks will be fine. A pair of gloves, which will always come in handy. So there's definitely some good stuff. In this section, there's some additional rope here. I don't know exactly what you'd use this rope for. Uh, there's a whistle in here. Yeah, so this is the stuff I can definitely keep in my truck. It's kind of like an emergency preparedness type of setup there. Again, this water purification. And a lot of these tablets, I don't know if you can see it, but the expiration date for one of these is 2018. So uh, I've got a, a higher quality gravity filter so I can, I can get rid of all that stuff. And then, yeah, we do have some similarities here. We have, again, uh, emergency sleeping bag, weather kit, uh, we'll keep those handy. Uh, those, like I said, don't expire while it's coming handy. And last but not least, we've got more bagged water that expired in October of 2020. So we can get rid of this. But I'll keep the bags, like I said, I'll use them. I already put my, my rope, my tow rope, in the other bag. It took up a lot of space, so I just put uh, the deluxe weather kit on top of that. And then I put in the hand tool and uh, a couple of other things to keep that in that bag. And then for this bag right here, as I mentioned previously, I have a tire repair kit. So if you get a puncture, you get a nail in your tire or something like this, this helps to fix it, get you on your way. So I'll put this in this bag here, fits in perfectly. And then again, I'll hold on to our weather kit. Always good to have that handy. I don't think we'll really need it, but I think it's worth having on hand. And then I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna do a separate video, maybe a one minute short or something like that. I'm gonna play with this and see how it works. You know, given the quality of some of this stuff, it's probably not high quality, but if it is, definitely come in handy when you're out and away from uh, electric sources and anything along those lines. And then this I'll probably consolidate down. I'll see what's really good in here and what we can get rid of. Maybe I'll take a quick look, see what we have. The gloves are a keeper for sure. They feel like they're, they're decent quality. I have you know, reasonably normal sized hands, so they should fit okay. And yeah, those aren't bad. So those will definitely come in handy. So we'll definitely hold on to those. Put that one right there. Survival whistle here, safety whistle, a liquid compass. I've got a, a better quality compass. I don't know that I really need this. Signaling mirror, yeah, my compass has a mirror as well. And then some sort of storage container and a flint. Flint could come in handy. So we'll definitely keep this in our kit as we move forward. Light sticks are always fun. Just gotta make sure my kids don't get uh, get into them because they'll want to use them and they won't be in the kit and available if we ever need them so we'll hide those from our kids. 
We've got a rope here. Don't know exactly what you use this rope for. Obviously, you could use it to tow. It doesn't look like it's, it's strong enough, but you could certainly use it for some other uses. So I'll probably hold on to that. Playing playing cards. I'm not really a playing card person, but we'll maybe just hold on to them because why not? This little white container, I don't know what's in here. We're going to have to take a look and see what this is. See if it's maybe like sort of like a... Yeah, it is. It's sort of like a, a little pocket knife here. So it has a lot of the basic things, static electricity, uh, that you expect. You got a little uh, Phillips head screwdriver there. You got some little blades there. You got another corkscrew. So we'll have plenty of corkscrews. Uh, so you just kind of a nice little pocket knife. I'm not sure of the quality of it. Again, it feels like it's really kind of tight. Maybe it needs to be oiled. It's been sitting in this bag for who knows how many years. Looks pretty decent, so we'll probably just keep that. And then finally, duct tape. When can you not? When would you not want to have duct tape lying around? Just just because. So we'll have the duct tape nice and bright too, so get people's attention. So that's it. That's everything for these two emergency preparedness kit. I'm probably gonna get rid of about 65% of the stuff because it's either expired or we just really don't need it. And then I'm just going to keep them in my truck and put in my truck repair stuff along with my uh, emergency stuff that we have left over from these bags. So overall, I'd say this was a pretty good deal. Thankfully, we've never needed to use any of it. So it's just been sitting around. It's just kind of one of those, like, if something happens, it's there. The only thing we've really used, as I mentioned earlier, was we used some hand sanitizer that came in handy over the past two years. Uh, obviously, there's a small amount of it, but... Uh, it helped out in a pinch just having it in my backpack so if we're out somewhere and we're going to eat we can just quickly sanitize our hands before we eat but the rest of this didn't really get used but a lot of it's still perfectly fine so let's put it in the bag and update the bag with uh, some of our truck stuff and we'll be good to go if you like my content please consider subscribing please like the video uh, and i'll catch you on the next episode